Welcome back y'all. So today I'm going to be doing a toolbox tour on my Snap-on uh, tool cart. Um, I'll put a link down in the description of what uh, the uh, model number is on this tool cart. So to give you a little bit of backstory, um, I used to work in a classic car shop um, and I used to have a service cart that I, that I pushed around to different, different cars um, to work on and then I used a larger toolbox to hold uh, my, my larger tools. Uh, but since then, uh, my needs have changed, um, and I have uh, gotten this tool tool cart uh, to basically kind of meet in the middle between a larger tool cab and a service cart. Um, so basically, the mentality behind this is to be able to maintain all of the cars and uh, motorcycles that I work on with this uh, toolbox, and it kind of meets right in the middle of you know what what you need for a uh, ser service cart versus what you need for a roll cab um, and it has all the tools that I need uh, to maintain my my vehicles um, so let's get started all right so starting off uh, the top of the toolbox basically on this side I've got all my uh, screwdrivers pry bars um, I've got some uh, nitrile gloves on the side here. This kind of becomes a, a miscellaneous drawer, but up, up at the top, I've got my uh, scan tool, uh, flashlight, magnet, different flashlights, uh, my service gloves, um, a uh, meat cleaver, <laughs> um, air chuck, blower, couple extra screwdrivers, inspection mirror, and then magnets. Uh, these are definitely your friends whenever you putting those underneath the engine bay. Moving down to the first drawer. Um, so in here I basically got screwdrivers over here and then over on this side we've got all the pliers. Uh, we've got some channel locks. Uh, most of these are actually a Napa brand. Um, I got these on a sale uh, whenever they came out. Uh, they were switching out their tools, uh, and uh, I got a good deal on all those. Um, larger screwdriver here, um, vice grips. Oh, let's see, this SK. This is a really nice, uh, slightly bent. Uh, pliers here that I really like. So getting into this drawer, we've got metric and standard wrenches. Um, these over here are snap-on. Uh, we've got snap-on and Mac. I really like these, uh, these uh, smaller wrenches. They get into some tight, tight places. Really nice. Uh, and then uh, we've got some uh, crescent wrenches here. Uh, most of my wrenches here are gear wrenches. Um, and I've got some snap-on back here. As far as brands go, uh, I'm not, I don't have a favorites. Uh, I don't play favorites really. Uh, if the tool works, great. Uh, that's kind of how I feel about it. I know that different people uh, get into arguments about what's the best tool. I just, you know, I buy, buy quality and, and uh, find the deals. So uh, over here, we've got uh, some ratchet wrenches, uh, deep uh, sockets over here. These are Cornwell over here. We got Craftsman here. Back, we've got some SK Shallows. Um, and then uh, I like putting these on rails so that I can grab these and go. And I've got some Allen wrenches right here. And then here's uh, my ratchets. Let's see, I got quarter inch, uh, three eighths right here. So here I've got uh, SK, uh, fine tooth ratchet, you got snap on. It's got a flex head on it. Craftsman, 
I think I don't know if they still make these, but I, I like these uh, Craftsman uh, fine tooth ratchets. Um, and uh, of course, this pipe you put on the end of a put that on the end of a of a uh, ratchet gets you some extra leverage. All right, so this is probably the hardest drawer to describe. It's a miscellaneous drawer. We've got. Um, Electrical tape, Teflon tape, screws, fuses, uh, multimeter. Um, these are for uh, fuel lines. Um, interior pry bar kit. Uh, miscellaneous electrical connectors. Yeah, so this is my miscellaneous drawer. Kind of ends up a lot of different things. We got JB Weld back here, um, Loctite, of course, plenty of zip ties, lock pick set. Uh, we got a brake bleeder. If you guys have any questions, be sure to put them down in the down in the comments for sure. Um, in this drawer, uh, I've got a tap and die set. I uh, cheaped out <laughs> Harbor Freight with with that one. Uh, this is for my uh, motorcycles. Um, got a old a lot of old uh, CB seven uh, fifties, um, four carburetors. Uh, basically, you got to tune them all together and make sure they've got the same. Same pressures, um, bring them all in sync with this tool. Um, Dremel tool uh, to put my, engrave my name on my tools, even though nobody else is working out of this shop, so. Um, torque wrench, smaller torque wrench here. This is a half inch and that would be a quarter inch. Um, Hammer, another pipe, whatever, uh, ratchet or pry, pry bar, get in, some extra leverage. Dead blow, hammers, of course, soldering gun. So, down here, we've got the impacts. Um, I keep a wire brush on this uh, for cleaning uh, terminals and other things that on, on cars. Got a cutoff wheel here. Um, these are Ingersoll, Brand, uh, I'm sorry, Campbell Hallsfield, Craftsman. Uh, let's see, We've got impacts, small sledge, small hammer. Fabricated hammer. Uh, this works pretty good. Another uh, crowbar. Prying stuff. Quarter inch and three eighths uh, air inches. I want to get some electric ones. Uh, there are a lot of good things about those, so I'm going to probably be investing in those here in the future. But. Well, thanks for joining me today, y'all. Uh, this just give you a little bit idea um, how I like to organize my tool tool bags, uh, my toolboxes, and my uh, tool bags. Basically, I, I try to make it very simple um, and have one uh, toolbox that can take care of everything that I need to work on. Um, I do the same thing with my tool bag. You might have seen my tool bag video before, um, but I try to make it as simple as I can. Um, but Please let me know kind of what y'all are, uh, the way that y'all uh, put together y'all's toolboxes, um, whether you use a service cart or a roll cab or, or uh, even a, a portable toolbox. Um, let me know down in the description. So yeah, that's all I got for today. Um, if you like these type of videos, please hit the like button, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.